deal, I'll explain the files that make up our virtual machines and how we leverage shared storage. So here in our diagram, we see we have a host. That big gray box represents a host. And running on that host, I've got a virtual machine. And my VM is leveraging the memory, CPU, network and storage hardware of that host. And it does so through the hypervisor. So as the VM is running, it has certain information in memory. This is part of the live state of my VM. My VM is actually running on the host. So anything that my VM is doing in that moment, like playing a video or updating a database or something like that, any actions that are occurring in memory on that machine, those are occurring on the host. I refer to those as the live state of the virtual machine. It processes that is executing on the CPU. That's happening on the host. Network bandwidth that it's using to load up some web page. That's happening on the host and is part of the live state of my VM. And utilizing those storage adapters to send storage traffic towards a disk or some other capacity device. That's all happening live in real time on the host. But there's another piece that we need to think about here. So for example, let's say that we're running Windows on this virtual machine. So on my Windows VM, I'm going to have a drive, right? Maybe for example, my C drive. And so Windows needs the ability to read and write data to and from that C drive. So in order to do that, it has to have access to a physical disk somewhere. And that physical disk is not going to be within the VM, right? The virtual machine isn't really a machine, right? It doesn't have any dedicated physical hardware. It doesn't have any hard disks. So as that virtual machine is reading from and writing to that drive, those operations are actually being redirected to a storage device somewhere. Maybe it's across a fiber channel network or across a, an ethernet network, or maybe it's a local disk right inside of the hypervisor. It doesn't really matter. This virtual machine is going to have a set of files. And one of those files is going to be this virtual disk. So as the virtual machine needs to read from or write to disk, that traffic is going to flow through a storage adapter. And they're actually going to be reading from and writing to a file on some sort of storage solution. That's going to be one of the files that makes up this virtual machine. And it's probably going to be shared storage. So there's probably many other virtual machines storing their files right in that same location. Now, the other thing we need to think about is what happens when I turn my virtual machine off, when I shut it down, I have to be able to boot it back up. I'm going to need configuration information, like uh, how much memory is this VM supposed to get? How much CPU is it supposed to get? Uh, what is the disk size? All that kind of configuration information. So uh, stored on my storage solution, there's going to be some sort of config file. That's going to be one of the files that makes up the VM. There's going to be a file for its virtual disk. There's going to be a file that stores the contents of the BIOS for that virtual machine. Uh, let's see, what are some of the other files? If I've taken any snapshots of that VM, there's going to be files for that too. And all of those files need to be stored persistently on some sort of physical storage device. So a virtual machine is made up of two things. The first thing I covered is the live state. And the live state is what's happening right now, what is in memory, what hardware is being used, what programs are running on my virtual machine at that moment. That stuff is happening on the host. If the host fails, all of that stuff is going to be lost. Contents of memory, whatever was happening at that moment, right? It's basically like unplugging my computer. But what will persist are the files of that virtual machine. 
anything that I've saved in my C drive, files that make up the VM. So always just sort of bear that in mind, right? The stuff that's happening right now, the stuff that's happening live, that's happening on the host. The stuff that is stored persistently, the files that I need to boot up my VM, those exist on storage and those are my virtual machine files.